It's the Iggy and the Yeeny. Fantastic to see you both. Um, ooh. Ooh, the mic actually be, might be a little down. How about that? Usually I need to turn myself down. Uh. <clears> hmm. <throat> humu, humu, humu. Okay, well. I mean, it looks alright on my monitor, so. Alright. <clears throat> I ho hopefully this is all broadcasting okay. YouTube threw a few of the few of the weird errors at me or notifications that uh, seemed to imply that there were issues with their servers. It said it was like having trouble uh, retrieving data from the servers. So hopefully this is all going okay. Please let me know if not. Um, but yeah, it looks all right on my end. Does indeed look okay on my end. Yeah, seems fine to me. Same here, Yeeny, so here's hoping. Alright, let's go ahead and get her started then. Awe Amiki, my name is Faustus Marius Incatatus, the true consul of Rome, the favored horse of the god Emperor Caligula. Thank you all so much for joining me. Change is hard. Change is really hard. I was talking about like a week ago how I wanted to change the greeting and make it more grammatically accurate. It should be Awate Amiki. Or I could do Awe Amikus. But um Yeah, needs to be one of the uh needs to be one of the two. One one of the two need to change. And uh since I hope more than one person is watching, uh, probably better to do Awete Amiki uh, Awete Amiki, but um yeah. It's so hard to uh, so hard to break out of those habits that you've been doing for like a year and a half. Actually, pushing two that's really difficult to believe. Uh, anyways, how's everyone's uh, how was everyone's weekend? Mine was uh, oh sleep dead is a sleep dead's a real thing. I kind of sleep deprived myself over the last few days of the week, and uh, I have been just sleeping the whole weekend away. It seems like I. Uh, I slept for about 15, 16 hours last night. Let me, let me see. Let me let me math. Sleep, eat, stream, repeat. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, same here. Except the sleep is taking up more of a more of that schedule than it really should. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, cause, yeah. I think I slept for like. Yeah. Cause I woke up. Hmm. I guess it was closer to 15. Yeah. Okay. A lot. It was a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully everything's fixed now. I can get back to, you know, like a, a semi-normal sleep schedule. What passes for normal for me, at least. I've, uh, I've never had a good, I've never had a good solid sleep schedule. It's, I, I, I think that's terrible for your health. Like, I've read some things that, like, that will, that will kill you a lot faster than, uh, like, even, like, smoking or drinking or being really obese. Like, yeah, having a really, really random sleep schedule, not having a, not having it, uh, set over time, you know? Not having, going to sleep at the same time, not getting enough sleep, you know? All that good stuff. Sleeping too little, sleeping too much, which seems to be my problem, uh... Yeah, that'll kill you real fast, so. Something I would like to change, just like I would like to change the grammar in my greeting and, uh, and farewell. But, uh, you know, these things, these do take time. Humans fail, and uh, even immortal horse consoles fail sometimes. Sometimes. Despite what REZ might want you to think, the Inky Ls are actually, uh, I feel, uh, I've kind of few and far between. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, sounds like Yeeny, you had a, a very, very standard weekend, which I am not a, I'm not opposed to that sort of thing. So, what I'm really not opposed to is uh, finally getting a day off. We did it. We did it. By hook or by crook, I streamed six days out of seven this week. Um, and you know, I think I can, I think I can pull it off again. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But I will be taking tomorrow off. Will definitely be taken tomorrow off. Going to be trying to get a schedule out. Going to be trying to also get a history short out tomorrow uh, is the goal. So uh, while I will not be streaming, I will not be taking a break. So that is the goal. It shouldn't take too long, I hope. I'll have a little bit of time to chill out. But we shall see. 
Okay. So tonight, playing some Stardew Valley, getting back into it. Uh, like the title, uh, like the title implies, gonna be trying to make some, uh, relationship progress with a bunch of the villagers. Um, just the, it's the way I play Stardew Valley. A lot of people, like, you know, they identify, okay, I'm gonna marry this person in this run-through, and, uh, you know, we're gonna make a big effort from the start, get them to a certain number of hearts, like, after the first month. It's like, no, fuck that. It's not how I play Stardew Valley. Since I'm talking about Stardew Valley, I guess I can switch over. I have nothing more to say. Nothing more to, to chatter about. So, but yeah, no, that's not how I play Stardew Valley. First month or so is always, like, the mad dash for cash. Uh, want to get set up, want to get the want to get the farm up and going, making some good money, and then you can start caring about other people. I think that uh, I think that makes more sense, right? Maslow's hierarchy of horse needs. Glittering pile of gold comes before social contact. All right, gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect for the luau. Oh, the luau is tomorrow. Fun. Whoa. Just picked up the damn TV. That's like a big CRT TV as well. Welcome to Wolwex Oracle, the only show where the voices of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Baked fish. I think I already know that. Oh, I learned how to cook baked fish. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, so yeah, stream goals are going to be to kind of make some relationship progress with people, and also to expand the house. Tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. You ever go to turn on your TV and accidentally pick it up? Relatable. Uh-huh. Yep, you know, you just, uh, you go to press that power button and, uh, you just grab onto it and lift instead. Yep, happens all the damn time. Communal Putluck, make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. So, I think I can get a good outcome from the Potluck, which I want. Again, I'm trying to build up relationship with the villagers, and a good outcome from the Potluck, I think, gives the relationship with everyone. So, I think I can get that with, like, a Gold Star Cheese. So, hopefully one of the cows gave me, gave me the Mega Milk. Just uh, handle the animals right now. Dear Lord, is he handling those animals over there? Hey, there's a gold star cheese. Let's go. All right. The milking continues. Hey, wait. This one's a ball. That's a, that's a common mistake I make, too. But Inky, you're handling the animals every stream. Um, are you really an animal, though? Always figured, I always considered you much more of a demon, Yeeny. Much, much more of a demon. Much, much, much more of a demon. It's mostly talking about the rest of sure you were. Sure you were. Sure you were, Miss Serrated Teeth Eats the Marrow. But that's probably, but your true name is probably something like that, isn't it? Serration hemorrhage marrow sucker or something? Yeah. Guessing Eni's true name would be very advantageous. Listen, marrow is a good source of food. 
I mean, sure. I'm not judging you for what you are, I'm just saying what you are. Oh, that's... that's really disappointing to lose that blueberry bush, actually. Maybe it'll come back if I water it. I don't think it works that way, but that's really disappointing to lose that. I think it's just... I think it's the uh, lightning strikes can take out your crops. I know it's not crows, because if crows did it, it would just be empty. Okay, so I need to kind of remember what the villagers like and probably identify a few likely uh a few likely targets. We never did decide who I was going to be romancing as well. There are um <laughs> there are so many uh so many options present. So few of them good. Romances for normies. Okay. I see. So you want me to be a Sigma male and romance all of them is basically what you're getting at. I can do that. I can do that. As long as you keep a lucky rabbit's foot on you the whole time, they will remain in blissful ignorance of your assholery. Well, you heard it here, folks. You heard it here. Yeni wants us to be a Sigma horse. And so we shall. Cool. Alright, who will our first victim, sorry, um, first target be? First romance partner. Hi, Yeniper. Oh, you can't see her, but she's being really cute back there. Felines greater than dates. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can't even tell Yeni she's going to become a crazy cat lady because she already is a crazy cat lady. that off, sell the uh, non-gold star cheese, and we'll save the gold star cheese for the Lua. Cheese and soup, yum. I, yeah, I petted the chickens. I petted the chicken today. Um, alright, so I want to head over to Robin's, I think. Let's see, making friends with Linus is really easy because he just likes forage. Yeah, like we can... Give this grape to Linus, he will like it. So yeah, we could we could make friends with Linus really easy. You probably should make friends with Linus really easy, because he uh He gives you some good stuff, if I recall. Another jackass burying their late library books. You in here, Linus? Hmm. He's comfortable with us going in his tent. Either that or he knows he can't stop us since we're armed. Linus, what there you are. It's a great gift. Thank you. Yep. So we're one of ten with him. We could talk tomorrow. I don't have anything to give her. Actually, that's not true. I think she likes strawberries, but I'm not going to give up strawberries. You enjoying the season? It's been so warm this year. Yep, yep, yep. And I think Robin's present on a Wednesday. Alright. So what do I need to... Uh, what do I need to be working for? Need uh, 10,000 gold and 450 pieces of wood. Okay. So probably just need to chop down a whole bunch of wood. We can do this. We can very much do this. Um, who else is easy to, to befriend? Um, our time to befriend George has kind of passed because his easiest gift is leeks. And leeks are no longer growing. What is this? 
Summer squash seeds. Really? You can just dig them up, huh? Fascinating. Okay, that's new. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for uh gonna have to keep an eye out for those things. It's little wiggly uh things on the ground, I guess. Consume the mayonnaise for energy. We have many trees to chop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gulp it all down. Let it roll down your chin. Delicious. Hmm. I've yet to find a use for moss, but I have to feel like there's going to be a use for moss, right? I have to tell myself that, at least. Oh, this is a mahogany tree. Nice. It's going to give us hardwood. Excellent. I'm really kind of glad they added the mahogany trees. This was uh, this was an earlier patch, but I'm still very happy because I remember the old times when, uh, like, you take down all of the hardwood stuff on your farm, and then from that point on, your only source of hardwood is the secret woods. So you are limited to 12 things of hardwood per day. It was it was kind of lame. So I'm really glad they gave us the uh, option to grow mahogany trees. The hell's going on over there? Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, at this time of year, at this latitude, localized entirely within your farm. I guess it's 7.10 p.m. Maybe get a glimpse of the Aurora if you're north enough. Is an efficient use of energy. Not a single point spared. Alright, um, no reason to keep the acorns or the maple seeds. Everything else is worthwhile. Oh, I need to make a new chest, is what I need to do. Hmm, yeah, I've got a. Actually, you know what I'll do? Make some room by selling off some of the adventuring crap I no longer need. Like I uh, might might hold on to the slingshot at least. Yeah, all this shit can uh summer squash seeds. Hmm. I really don't think I want to plant much more without sprinklers. We'll sell them. <clears throat> yeah, and then I'll just run the old adventuring shit over to the adventurers guild, sell it, and hey, maybe they have a maybe they have new stuff for sale. I can't really uh, can't really buy anything not if I want to expand my house. <laughs> Man, I really uh. Really looking forward to getting the minecarts fixed and having a uh, means of fast travel. All right, yeah, rubber boots and a steel small sword, all yours, buddy.
Another person who's really easy to befriend is Pam. <laughs> if you uh, if you support her drinking habit, um, also if because uh, she likes parsnips, so that's a very easy one to do in the spring that I did not do. So a little bit of a bummer. All right, they're all in. Close the door behind them. Close the door, get on the floor. Chickens are the modern dinosaur. Did I not let the cows out? I did not let the cows out. Hoo, 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 hoo. Well, sorry, cows. Who kept the cows in? Who, 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 who? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, 345 for a cheese. You're gonna love my cheese, I guarantee it. All right, what we got? Going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller. If your spirits are somewhat annoyed today, luck will not be on your side. Okay. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you can make some good coin combing your local beach. This is true. This is true. It's free real estate. So, yeah. We'll need to remember to go to the beach. Hey, first summer squash you're in. Alright. We'll pickle a few of the crappy ones and sell the rest. There you go, Yennefer. I should pick up some spring fruit trees while I'm at it. Not that it matters terribly much now. Like, I could plant the spring fruit trees in fall and not have a problem. It takes a whole month for them to grow, is the, uh, is the way it works. doing in the corner? Step farmer, what are you doing in the corner? Alright, and we'll remember to let the cows out. Should I make some more wild summer seeds? Why not? It's just more stuff to water. I love that. Yeah, temptation is really to hit the mines hard. Alright, I think I have until 2 o'clock to get to the luau. I guess if I do have a copper can if I want to be a little more efficient with it. It's not a lot, but a little.
Yeah, I think that's faster than a... That's faster than the click every tile method, I suppose. I think I was actually supposed to be doing this crossways, because... Yeah, vertically we have rows of eight, so I would be wasting... I would be inefficient, but horizontally, yeah, we have rows of what? Fifteen? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, I might actually miss the luau. Moving and we're moving and we're moving. God, I need sprinklers. I need sprinklers so bad. <clears throat> Part of me wants to just say fucking and get the the crappy sprinklers. <laughs> I, uh, what all is involved in the crappy sprinklers? Actually, let's. I might be at that point. So yeah, quality needs iron, gold, and refined quartz. Which you know we're we're working on. We're working on. We're getting there. But yeah, you just need copper and iron for a crappy sprinkler. And they water in like a cross formation. Maybe for fall, you know? Maybe for fall I'll, I'll go that route. Because I doubt I'll have enough gold to, to make uh, quality sprinklers work in any great numbers. Let's move, move, move. Actually, a lot of wild food in the area if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Ugh, dandelion. Groovy. We made it. Look sharp. The governor is here for the annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Oh, what a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Uh, should we move forward with the luau? The governor looks a little hungry. No, not yet. I need to I need to poison. Sorry, uh, improve the, uh, the soup. These blasted sandflies keep landing on the food. I think one of the Harvest Moons basically had this event, like potluck and all, and it was actually possible to poison the soup and you got a game over that way. The uh, implication being you Jonestowned the entire uh, village, which, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. No, you don't. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Oh, you stepped on my foot, dear. Why are they together? I mean, it's cute, but why are they together? Vincent isn't a good dancer. Oh, get it, Emily. Get it. <laughs> that music is too loud. Can I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? The ocean is loud. Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. I really hate, like, when I'm substitute teaching and I mention something, I really hate that I'm now able to, like, talk about things and remember things from before the students were born. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Like, yeah, I'll start talking about something and, like, oh, no, that's probably before y'all were born. Never mind. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Ever wonder why Sam leads the town in community service hours? Because he's a nice guy. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. See, this is part of the reason why I went with Abigail on my first playthrough. Hello, Mr. Wizard. 
The mer people are curious about your festivities. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Uh, sure they do. Like Ariel doesn't have a room full of crap that people threw away. Full, but what else there? What else is there to do besides eat? Go shake it on the dance floor, or the dance fronds, I guess. Hope the soup is good this year. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. <laughs> Free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. Well, maybe the merfolk shouldn't litter on our beaches. Uh, are you implying that they're uh, that they're causing all of the uh, they're causing all of the seaweed and seashells to wash up? All right, yeah. Put a gold star cheese into the soup. I think that should be enough to get the good outcome. We'll see. Good thing I came with sunscreen. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. What are you roasting, Linus? That's uh, quite a shape. Is that a football monster? A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. Marnie, you handle animals all day. Do we really want you stirring the soup? If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. What you got, Pierre? Yeah, nothing too interesting. Oh, it's got a star fruit for three thousand yeah. these are fantastic late game fruits to cultivate um, I'm not about to just buy one for 3,000 gold though yeah nothing exciting I woke up late stepped out of the door and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub how's the farming coming along must be a busy season for you it's actually not like most of my crops regrow automatically do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. <laughs> governor, who cares? Governor, I hardly know. I hardly know her. Why should I care about some random old guy? I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Mm-hmm. All right. I think we've talked to everyone. Gale. The uh, the best outcome in this uh, in this festival is to put Mayor Lewis's shorts into the uh, into the soup. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. Trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Oh, you don't even know. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. I forgot what accent I was doing for him. You only see him this once. Oh boy. An unforgettable soup. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted, yes. You're right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants a taste? The governor wasn't kidding, the soup was out of this world. Okay, so we get a little bit of a we get a little bit of a relationship boost with everyone, so that's very nice. I think I have the energy to cut down one tree, so let's do that. Hmm, probably gonna make my axe iron first. Got some new ideas to sleep on, uh huh? I do like that it notifies you the moment you level up. Again, very useful if you're doing like a challenge run and you need to know like exactly, exactly when you've leveled up so you don't have to waste any further time on it. You're not just eyeballing it. All right. Can I maybe do one more? 
Might not be able to take out the stump, but I think I can fell the tree. Oh, look at that. Did I close the barn? I did not. At least this time when I remembered something before going to bed, it was something that actually, uh, yeah, touch the cow, do it now, uh-huh. Yeah, at least it was something that was actually relevant. It wasn't just my mind playing tri tricks on me. Chance for double harvest of foraged items or trees drop 25% more wood. That... Mmm... There will always be trees, but uh, some of the some of the forage stuff you can get is pretty good, especially when you get pigs, because the pigs dig up truffles and those count as foraged items. So, yeah, I'm thinking probably double double foraged items. Depends on the chance, right? But uh, it's probably pretty good. But yeah, can always find more trees. Storm is approaching, thunder, lightning expected. Wonderful. We'll probably go down into the mine tomorrow, then. Spirits are in good humor today. Very nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on... Ooh, hey, my tomatoes. And then I think the melons will be ready tomorrow. That's also very nice. So yeah, I think I'm gonna focus on gathering up the rest of the uh, rest of the wood I need and get the house expanded today. Hmm. Ravi Shankar's greatest hits. No, I really do like this song. I don't know why I felt the need to immediately clarify that I like the song. There are plenty of people who un unironically like Ravi Shankar. I am not one of them, but, you know. Yeah, no. Alright, yes, let's go touch the cows. Excellent. Getting large milk from both of them now. I should probably buy another two cows. Oh. And I didn't put the milk pail away. Yeah, it's probably like six or seven more trees. Might hold on to the non-gold star cheese and uh, eat it for energy. Alright. Hey, our first iridium quality egg. Very nice. Arise, Chimkins. Chimkins arise. Will I get a will I yeah will I get iridium mayonnaise? Let's see. No void chickens? Not yet. Not yet, at least. We'll get there. Also, how do you do, Space Lord? Good to see you. I 
I seem to recall they made some sort of ch Oh, you know what it is? They uh they made fishing at the uh, witch's house less likely to give you void salmon, I think. Or maybe just straight up void mayonnaise. I think you can uh, just fish up straight up void mayonnaise sometimes at the witch's house. Would you try the void mayonnaise? Would you eat the black mayonnaise that smells like burnt hair? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what culinary applications there might be. You know. Also, very curious what uh what dinosaur mayonnaise tastes like. Try that one out, you know? Nah, I only eat Hellman's. <laughs> I mean, Hellman's is the perfect, uh, perfect brand for avoid mayonnaise, you know? Hellman's Hell Mayonnaise? Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, we need to quick hurry, chop down some trees. like 130 wood. That's what we were short. Oh yeah. Making the big moves. Making the big moves here. Consume the cheese! That is a good lumberjack snack right there. Skyrim has taught us anything, nothing makes you more combat effective than scarfing down an entire wheel of cheese in the middle of in the middle of a hand-to-hand -hand CQC brawl. Steve Urkel agrees. <laughs> wood now. Let's uh, hurry on over to Robin's. We will we'll get a kitchen so I can actually cook things. I feel like I always underuse the kitchen, but you know, it might be nice to have. I don't cook as much as I should in this game. I've, I've, I, I never got into the cooking thing in Stardew Valley, but uh, you know, it's something that's there. It's something I can use. The fridge is nice for uh, food storage, at least. Upgrade house. 10,000 gold, 450 pieces of wood. Let's go. Get started tomorrow. Should be finished in around three days. Let's go. Holy shit! Dracula rose from his coffin. How you doing, buddy? Oh, hey. Oh, sorry. Yeah, three, three in the three in the afternoon seems about right. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. We'll give him the gold star spice berry. It's a great guess. Hey, we're at two hearts with them. Wonderful. Worked at the clinic yesterday. We didn't have a single patient. I use the kitchen all the time. The Papa John's number is on the fridge door. <laughs> there we go. Absolutely. Um, Let's see. 
Ooh, uh, trying to remember. I think they made uh, they made mayonnaise a uh, a universally liked gift. Let's see, Robin, how do you react to uh, taking our mayonnaise? Thanks, this is really nice. See, she loves the mayonnaise. Demetrius, I bet you love the mayonnaise too. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. Wow. When even the brother likes the mayonnaise, you know you done good. <clears throat> Someone likes sweet pea too? Oh yeah, look at that, we got a... Got a proc on the double forage. <laughs> they all love your mayo. Uh-huh. Just wait until I start growing almonds, and they're all going to love my nuts. Watch this. They're going to love my nuts. Oh, yeah, I need to head down to the beach, too, because, yeah, some... Whole bunch of seashells are washing up. It's free real estate. Including hopefully a Nautilus. I think the Nautilus only show up in winter though. Hi Elliot. Inky, you look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. No, just looking at you. If you really want to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. How about you sell me a how, how about you sell me a fishing rod I can actually bait? That would be cool. Hey, some gold ore. Yes. This is what we're looking for, the rainbow shells. These uh A lot of people like these as gifts, but they also sell for a lot, so. Free real estate, baby, free real estate. Okay, so that's, uh, well, we'll get it done in three days, but that's stream goal number one accomplished. Our, our house shall become grander. My mother used to drive the bus to Calico Desert, but the bus stopped working a few years ago. Mayor says there's not enough money in the town coffers or else he'd have it fixed. That's right. So yeah, I'm not sure we've seen the, uh, I'm not sure we've seen the money bundles in the community center, but yeah. There are bundles that are just give me give the Junimos money, and if you do them all, they fix the uh, bus to the desert. Very worth doing. Lots of good stuff in the desert. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. I'm not your wife, Pierre. I don't care. You don't have to justify yourself to me. <laughs> Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Me too. Demetrius is busy. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have an off to fuck? Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. Oh, I guess. Give me a pint of your... Another pint of your strongest. So what I think I might do... Uh... Yeah. Oh, um... Sure, yeah. Glad you glad you enjoy it. Glad you enjoy it, Lewis. I was actually going to uh, feed Pam's addiction here. Because it'll make her like me more. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Um, you can do a few good things, actually. Yeah, Leah really likes salads, so, uh, eat a salad. This looks delicious. Thank you. Nothing quite like a fresh wild salad. Um, what else? I think we've got the D-Gens over here. Um, who likes rainbow shells? Is it Sam? I might give... Thanks, I really like this. Yeah. And then somebody likes sweet peas too, but I totally forget who it is. And I think a lot of them will hate it if they're not a not a fan of it. Alright. 
Look at us making friends. Linus at two hearts. We got Robin at two hearts. Haley at two hearts. Leah. Yeah. We're actually going to start getting some relationship events. Jody, too? Yeah. We are going to start getting some relationship events. Hmm. Ooh, I kind of fucked up. I think the melons are going to be ready tomorrow. Might not be able to go far in the mines then. Um, I'll go right away. We'll try and make as much progress as humanly possible. But uh, yeah, I think the melons are going to be ready tomorrow. So I need to harvest them and probably just replant more melons. See if people love my uh, mayo or my melons more. What I think I'll do is I'll cut down a tree, and uh, I think chests are 50 gold. Probably should organize the chests. We'll have like a raw materials chest. Did I say 50 gold? I meant 50 wood. Uh, we'll have a raw materials chest, and then we'll have like a uh, seeds and finished goods and that sort of thing. We'll make a... Eh, that's kind of a... Make it lighter. Sure, we'll make it lighter. I don't hate that. Okay, yeah, so we'll have uh we'll have this be like the uh finished goods, seeds, that sort of thing. Yeah, geodes can go. Um yeah, all this shit, that's a seed. Uh slingshot can probably go. What else, what else, what else, what else? Might pull the bait out. Get those geodes. There are only three who don't like sweet peas. Really? Okay, well. That was a mistake not handing them out, I guess. That's surprising. I, I figured um, a lot of the forage that doesn't give you any help, most people are not fans of. Okay. Yeah, this is all, like, reasonable stuff to keep in uh, in the raw materials bin. Of course, we throw the sap in there. Yeah, and then all of this stuff is sort of uh, more miscellaneous. Look at that inventory management. Yini would be so proud. <clears throat> I am proud. Potch, 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 potch. Thank you. Thank you, Yeni. You are the wind beneath my well sorted wings. All right. Oh, we're going to get more rain tomorrow. Let's go. Spirits are very displeased today. Of course the day we're going down in the mines, the spirits are pissed. But... Okay, so yeah, this is going to kind of limit our time down in the, uh, down in the mines. Uh, I think I'll just hold on to the... Probably sell off the gold star melons, uh put the uh, normal ones in the preserves jars and I might just uh, take yeah the silver star melons down with me into the mines okay so I could grab the cheese too but nah I got seven of these that's more than enough energy and health so 
Touch the cows. Touch the cows inappropriately. Bring along the fishing rod, the scythe, or the watering can. Even the axe is of somewhat limited value. Yeah, they're uh They're really kinda coming around. The chickens actually like me. Oh, I think we got, a. Uh, we still got Gold Star Mayonnaise, even though we used uh, an Iridium Quality Egg, so definitely want to just sell the Iridium Quality Eggs, use uh, lower quality stuff to make Gold Star Mayonnaise. Alright. We're off to the mines. But yeah, like I said, going to uh, probably get five levels in the mines and then get out and go to Pierre's. Actually, you know what? Pierre's is open now. Let's not chance it. Or it will be open by the time I get to it from here. Let's not chance it. Let's just go to Pierre's, get the... Uh... What was that? It would be 16 melon seeds, right? I have rows of eight. Two rows of eight, yeah. What, uh, what quests do we have? Ooh, Alex's birthday. Looking for someone to bring me six gold ores to aid in the understanding of local minerals. We might actually be able to do that. Decorates the walls with skeletons? Gimme. Whoa! Okay. Lots of speed run for losing money. Um wonder if uh wonder if Alex would be into a melon. For my birthday, thanks. Hey, got us to two stars. Sure. Happy birthday, bud. You know who else is into melons is Haley, uh, which is uh, which is nice because the feeling is mutual. Might give her one, too. Oh, right. Yeah, we get our first relationship of it. <laughs> I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. Happy birthday, you melon. Yep. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in this house, and you know it. Oh, it's that new farm boy. He has a name, you know. <laughs> I too am into melons, yeah. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Uh, I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Inky. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Yeah. Emily, take the high road and do it this time. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? Or stop whining and clean it! Um, uh, it's interesting because like we don't have the uh, we don't have the extra. Presumably, we don't have the extra context that uh, Emily does the vast majority of the uh, housework. Um. But yeah, I think, why not have this be your one weekly job? Alright, you win. I guess this, this can be my job every week, then there won't be any reason to argue over it. 
Thanks, Inky. That was a great solution. <laughs> Any solution that saves me from having to do extra work is a great solution. You know, I could just kill her, then there would be less of a mess. Ooh. We can actually go into Haley's room. Oh. Um, here. No. No, I don't want to eat melon. Uh, that's such a stupid gift. Okay, Haley does not, in fact, like melons. I am mistaken. Haley already has melons. Haley wants bananas. Thank you. Unfortunately, we don't get bananas until we go to Ginger Island, so uh, Haley's gonna have to wait. Gonna have to wait a little bit for uh, for bananas. Might just need to sit on those bananas for a bit. If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. If you're lucky. All right, let's see what kind of progress we can make. God, just absolutely bapping on him. Oh, get that, get that, get that garbage out of my inventory. Not even disposing of you properly, leaving you to rot. Hey, diamond! Let's go. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, it takes forever to get crystallariums, but diamonds are a great one to do for crystallariums. Um, Diamonds, and if you uh, if you have someone you want to impress who likes a certain gemstone, then the crystallariums are worth it for that too. I tried to do my special attack. It was on cooldown. This is what I was afraid of. It's going to take forever to find the ladder. Get out of my way. There we go. There he is overrun with monsters. Good. That one's straightforward. Become the avatar of war here. Hmm. God. Really shouldn't be engaging them out in the open like this. Need to use the- oh, are you mating while you were actively being murdered? That's- that's impressive. That's some dedication. I guess it was a last-ditch attempt to make a new slime to fight me. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, um, probably consume the melon. I 
Get an amethyst. This is uh, Abigail's favorite to eat. <laughs> yeah, glad I went to Pierre's first. I would have been really cutting it close. Now you're giving me ladders, when I don't want them. Well, I mean, I let's say I don't want them, but they're not what I'm after right now. Yeah, causing some real trouble for the Tribbles. Crates work for cabadoning if you're really desperate, I suppose. Ding. Not a single iron ore vein, by the way. The luck must be insanely bad today. Whatever, I can use the stone. Alright, we'll stop here. I gotta go home and plant the melons. Wasn't a terrible run. Got a diamond. That's worth a lot. Probably just uh, stow it away. Save it for the crystal area. I think that's the most valuable gemstone. It did say the spirits were in a funk. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, um, the way it works is I think it's, like, from minus 100 to plus 100. So, like, the TV will give you a general idea of where they're at. Um, I'm thinking they were right up near 100, or minus 100 today. Okay, we'll uh, sell the silver star melons. Those are probably the ghost fish. What else don't I want? Hold on to the amethyst. Might down it. Might donate the amethyst. Uh, the mayonnaise can go. Pickled summer squash. Yeah, I could donate the jade too. We're we're gonna hold on to the diamond because I want the diamond as soon as I have a crystallarium. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is my yeah. This is my raw materials. Yeah, I think all of this shit goes in there. And then, yeah. Again, I'm keeping some gemstones in there too, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee beans can go in there. Plant the melons. Oh, I have a lot of extra energy. Okay. Early game, like the first year or two. Always worthwhile to cut down the trees. Eventually, you get to the point where uh, where you have managed democracy for the trees, you know? I have a little... Eventually want to get it so I have like a little grove of each kind of tree, and I just sort of go in every day and pull up any, uh, pull up any unapproved uh, sprouts popping up. And yeah, have all the trees tapped, so you're getting a... Uh, so you're getting uh, the pine tar and oak resin from them and whatnot. Manage democracy, exactly.
but yeah. All right. Never hurts to have more wood. Groovy. It's gonna rain tomorrow too, so once again I'm free from the tyranny of watering. A console that cares proceeds to tax the town. <laughs> yes! Nice kicker. <laughs> uh, is that actually a is that actually a Cicero line? I was not aware, but that's a fantastic line. Um <laughs> Cicero is actually uh, very famous for, um, oh, what? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's getting spoopy. It's getting real spoopy in here. Uh, Cicero is actually very famous for, uh, I think it was Cilicia he was the uh, governor of, and he uh, he did not uh, levy any taxes because they were kind of poor and uh, struggling. So uh, he did the uh, noble thing and uh, forewent all of the uh, hilarious corruption to enrich himself. It's why he's a uh, part of why he's looked upon fondly. And of course, he had to let everyone know he was doing this because he's Cicero. Nagini being a pain. Whoa, Faust, you have no fear of crows with that layout. Damn straight. Hey, we can finally make kegs. Very nice. So yeah, we get kegs, we get oil makers, deluxe speed grow, all very good stuff. Um, I'll probably probably build a shed here pretty soon and have uh, just a big keg set up. It's a great way to go, uh, especially, probably too late to grow hops now, but uh, yeah, especially summer too, you do a whole bunch of hops and you just make beer the whole year round. It's wonderful. Yeah, those melons are worth a little bit. Yeah, gold stars are worth 412, silver stars worth 343, and I'm gonna gonna make jam out of the uh, the no stars. Also, skeleton skeleton wallpaper part of 1.6. I think so. I haven't seen it before. A welcome addition, a very welcome addition. What we got? Gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Get watering, bitch. Spirits are in good humor today. I think I'll have a little extra luck. Okay. Pancakes. Wonderful. Hey, my throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. Um, I could finish this quest this year. It's probably going to be next year. So hopefully you can wait a year for a pale ale, Pam. Spoiler alert, she can. There's no time limit on these quests. Part of why a lot of people think Stardew Valley is actually purgatory. Alright, we'll take the, uh... Mm, I got three silver stars, five gold stars. That's a lot of energy. I have a bunch of IPA in the fridge, but no way I'm sharing with Pam. I do want to get on Pam's good side. Uh, might actually keep the uh, might actually keep the blueberries and make jam out of them, like the non-star ones. Yeah, I'll take the gold star summer squash down into the mines. She wants the uh, pale ale. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the uh, melon jam. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think we'll just, especially since the spirits are actually in good humor, uh, we'll probably. I swear, you only play Hell Divers when I'm not on. Uh, correct. Correct. I actually, got a full, uh, got, got a full-on group of viewers going. It was freaking awesome. We, uh, we crushed some. Uh, were we on extreme difficulty or, uh, or hard? I forget. I think we were just on hard. I don't know if I've done an extreme difficulty yet or whatever it is. The one above hard. Yeah, we crushed some hard missions. It was awesome. I'll probably uh, I'll play Hell Divers again next week. In fact, let me know uh, let me know what day works best for you, and I'll probably uh, probably do a Hell Dive. Damn straight, I ain't giving booze to Pam. She's the bus driver. 
<laughs> uh, sorry, R E Z. Yeah, if you let me know what day works best for you. I'm taking Monday off next week, but I'll be streaming uh, all the rest of the days. So, if you let me know what works best for you, I might uh, I would I would schedule a Hell Divers stream. Speaking of Hell Divers, I. I'm very surprised they actually let us eliminate the automatons. Um, I'm sure they'll be back. My suspicion is that they're probably going to... They're probably going to have the Illuminates show up. Did I? Yeah, I did the cows. Yeah, my suspicion is they're going to have the Illuminates show up. Um, and then we'll fight the bugs and the Illuminates. Yeah, new faction is coming, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna fight the bugs and the Illuminates, and then probably once we're settled into both of those, they're gonna bring the Automatons back, and we'll have a three-front war, and that'll be pretty, uh, pretty epic. What happened to the bugs? The bugs are still around. Yeah, the bugs are still around. We, uh, we eliminated the bots, but yeah, the bugs are still around. All right, let's push to 70. The bugs became oil. <laughs> I freaking love that that's the, uh, that's the cannon. <laughs> they literally farm the bugs for oil. Yeah, we, we would never totally eliminate the bugs because we need the bugs to uh, process them into oil or harvest uh, oil from them. Redditor faction, yeah. I mean, element 710, right, right, right. Yeah, element 710. And yeah, like they straight up say in the major order, like yeah, we need to, we need to get these uh, planets under control and build bug ranches on them, pretty much. What could go wrong? <laughs> the redditor faction. <laughs> Are you uh, referring to the Illuminates or the bots? Because uh, both could work. Then again, I've seen some Redditors making absurd statements of kinship with the uh, North Vietnamese. Sorry, the bugs. Um, yeah, that was pretty hilarious. Some new ideas to sleep on. You've got some new murder ideas to sleep on. Yeah, from what I've seen from the Illuminates, they, they like a lot released. I don't know if they're like, Ooh, a crystal fruit. Nice. Some more winter forage. Yeah, they look like, um, they actually look like a lot like the Baphomets from uh, Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, they're like floating psychic things. Seem pretty puny, but uh, yeah, probably, I'm assuming have like some psionic powers or something to cause trouble. We're like Finally getting the Protoss faction, pretty much. And I need to make some bombs. I could if I was willing to give up my Iron Ore, but I'm kind of not. Oh yeah, speaking of the Helldivers stream, so uh, yeah, those of you who are there know know that I uh, forgot to update the game, so like the first 30 minutes was me playing Infinite Craft while I waited for the uh, game to patch. Um, I was, I had a, I intended to just, uh, just edit that out of the VOD going forward. Shit, there was a, there was an Amethyst up there that I didn't grab. 
I got the ladder and I used it by uh, by muscle memory. Um, so yeah, the intent was to uh, just edit the uh, edit the whole infinite craft thing out of the VOD, but Uni did point out that that'll mess up the chat. So I guess do people have a a preference? Honestly, I could go either way. Okay, um, unless there's something really cool here, we'll probably just head straight to, uh, to the funny number. I sent you more info about it, but uh, I sent you more info about it, but I'm good either way. Thank you, Yini. If any of you ever, like, make it big, I think Yini would be a fantastic secretary. She is a, uh, she's an Excel wizard, too. Not just the eye candy type of secretary, either. An actual competent secretary. But yes, she, she's always doing stuff of like that, you know. I'll inform you of this potential drawback of your actions. I'll send you some more info about it if you weren't aware of it. So on, so forth. Hell, forget, forget secretary. Should make like a good, uh, should make a good COO. <laughs> uh, why be so low in the organization? She would, uh, she would do well. Lead rod. 18 to 27 damage, minus 4 speed, minus 5 weight, interestingly enough. Slime Slayer. I appreciate the vote of confidence. 15. So it's a little more damage, but it's a lot less speed. And and weight. Which, you know, is not necessarily a bad thing. What does Slime Slayer do? Eh. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try and see how it feels. Oh my god, look how slow it is. Oh, you have that whole time where you're open to attack. As compared to this. Dude, yeah, I don't know if that's usable. Master Slingshot. Um, I'm pr honestly not going to use the retaining soil. Hmm. Got some time left and nothing else to do today. <laughs> Pam is thirsty. Uh, the 70, 70 to 79 is my favorite part of the dungeon. Because you get the, uh, you get to, to touch some skeletons and, uh, uh, let's see, I already turned in a winter root, so we'll just eat this and pick up the skeletons. Yeah, the, uh, the density of iron is usually really good. The, uh, enemies are interesting. I like 70 to, se I like 70 to 79. have some jade. Probably just not bother with the slime. And how much? Yeah. You know what? We're making a bomb. We're making two bombs. Oh. Well, it was a good thought. It was a good thought. <laughs> okay, apparently the crate just blinks out of existence if you bomb it. 
like a hell bomb. All right, rattle them, boys. I should explore the whole floor and look for easy ladders before I, uh, you know, start breaking rocks. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's not Iridium. That's an Aquamarine. Uh... Getting to the point where the uh, the backpack capacity upgrade is starting to sound like a good idea. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the aqua remains worth more than the jade. I'll pick up the frozen tier because I know who likes the frozen tier. It's uh, Mr. Vampire Man. might uh, actually see Mr. Vampire Man out for a smoke uh, while we're returning from the mine. I will uh, hand him a frozen tear if I see that. It'll be very romantic under the pale moonlight. to find one more ladder. There we go. Cool. Alright. Look around the rest of the room. Pick up any more iron. Building a better backpack. Yes. Yes. Like I said, the, the super sweaty like Stardew pros say it's a waste of money to, to get the uh, final backpack upgrade, but uh, yeah, now I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's really making a lot of sense. All right. Yeah, get rattled. Ooh, the bone sword. Okay. Um, yeah, we have plenty of solar essences. Look at this shit. 20 to 30 damage, 4 speed, 2 weight. I suppose 15 to 24 damage, 2 speed, 3 weight. And this is a lot more speed than... Yeah, look at that. Oh, what a find. What a find. Alright. So we end in absolute triumph tonight. That's as good as it gets until, like, uh, probably floor 100. The super sweaters are wrong. You can always use more inventory space. Yeah, you, you would you would say that, Yeni. Absolutely. Kind of interested to see how the summer squash sells. All right. Uh, so yeah, we put that in there. Got a whole bunch of iron ore. In fact, I should probably make some iron bars. Uh, the bat wings, the ports. Was I holding cave carrots? I was not holding cave carrots. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're keeping the precious gems in there. Aquamarines, right? Yep. And the gold ore. Get the frozen tear in. The amethyst. Da, 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 da. I think everything else either needs to go. Yeah, 
Geodes. Uh, that crystal fruit can go to the community center. I'll probably sell the cave carrots and both of the clubs. You know, it, uh, it is okay to sleep. It is okay to sleep, Robin. I am, uh, I'm not expecting you to work for 70, 72 hours straight. That, uh, that, that feels a little unethical, honestly. And more than a little dangerous. Would you like to join the skeletons on my wall? Cat, let me in. For combat, we can make the warrior ring. Hey, here we go. Oh, I need more. <laughs> I need, need more skeleton uh, wallpaper. All right, but here we are. So yeah, so all of the stuff you actually know how to cook is revealed. Sunfish, bream, and wheat flour. Egg and milk can make some omelets. Fried egg can make eggs. Sure, makes sense. Cape carrot winter root. Farmer's lunch, an omelet and a parsnip. This will keep you going. Plus three farming, that is pretty strong. Moss soup. It's thick and slimy, but edible. Okay, well, we found a use for moss, I guess. It's a real gross use for moss, but a use all the same. Gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits feel neutral today. Got a spa in your town? Relax and hold still in the steaming hot water to replenish your energy. Ah, feels good, doesn't it? That's the stuff. Hey! Corn, corn, kitsune! Gentlemen, behold! Corn! Um, ooh! I think they wanted, uh... Yeah, let me... They, I think they, by they I mean the community center, I believe wanted five-star corn from me, so uh, we'll turn that in. Or five gold-star corn, that is. Also a little torn on whether I, I... I guess I probably should get two more cows. I can definitely afford them. The incredible edible egg. Can we get some hot pepper jam? We can get some hot pepper jam. I'll make some just for you, even though it's a... Uh, even though it's not a great use of my resources. Actually, if I recall, I think you get a quest sometime during the summer to give someone a hot pepper, so I will uh, I will hold on to one just in case. It's, I'm, I really like that they added waterfalls. It's so pretty. Yeah, sure. We'll hold on to the uh, we'll hold on to the hot peppers because yeah, I'm I'm gonna need them. I think blueberries. I think is something I need to turn in at the community center as well. Yee. If I need gold star corn, it's no more than five though. So 
Just sell that off. Do all my watering. Huh. Yeah, part of me wonders if going for the iron watering can is uh, is the play. If it's going to be like this. I have the iron for it. I have the iron, I have the cash. Do I have the will? Hmm. Well, regardless, I would need to time it for a day when uh, when it's going to rain the following day, so that way I don't miss the watering can. So, probably not today. So yeah, maybe today I actually will go and get the, uh, probably will go and get the Iron Axe. <laughs> Look at Yeenie frolicking in the crops. Oh my god. Sorry, it's not Yeenie, it's Yennepur. Big difference. Actually, I mean, maybe not that big of a difference. They both would eat me if they could, but only one of them has the uh, actual ability to do that. Oh. As long as I'm not dead. Same, same, but different. Yep. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, we're getting real morbid with this one. Okay. So, my uh, my dad is a paramedic, and he, he's he got some stories, of course. Like, uh, you would expect him to have some stories, right? Iridium sprinklers. Yes, please. That That's the real solution, right? No iron watering can. We need that iridium sprinkler. Unfortunately, that's still a ways off, so we're probably going to... I have the means to produce one or two quality sprinklers, but yeah, I need to get a little bit deeper into the mines and start getting some gold before I can uh, start crapping out the quality sprinklers. I could do two quality sprinklers if I wanted to. What I will do is, eh, yeah, sure, let's make the gold bars. We're gonna fail Clint's quest now, but let's make the gold bars. can't actually sell the slingshot, it's quite frustrating. Pam is thirsty. Well, Pam's gonna have to wait. Oh, right, 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 right. I think I'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, get the iron axe. It's probably the way to go. Oh yeah, my fucked up uh, story. And this just came to mind because I said only one of them could eat me if it wanted to. Um, did someone bring me 25 pieces of stone? They need to be fresh. That means gathered today. I, I guess it makes a difference. Uh, sure, Robin, we can uh, we can do that for you. Uh, so yeah, one of my dad's uh, best paramedic stories is that they. Uh, you know, they... Someone calls in, I think it's like a, a, a checkup on their elderly uh, mother because she hadn't uh, arrived for a, like a, a lunch or something they were having together. So, uh, you know, they knock at the door, she doesn't answer. They, uh, I think they have provided the police a key or something. Somehow they get in there. They get in there. Um, and yeah, she's, she's dead on the floor. Top half of her is a skeleton. There's nothing left. It has been picked entirely clean. Um, but the bottom half is very fresh. Um, I think it's still like in rigor mortis, actually. So, very, very strange. They, you know, take her to the, take, take what's left to the coroner. Um, and yeah, the coroner basically, uh, concludes that she had died about 10 hours earlier. Um, 
But yeah, the, the top of half of her was entirely a, a skeleton, and they uh, realized in her house that, uh, well, she had two golden retriever puppies. And those golden retriever puppies ate her entire top half in the space of about ten hours. It was it was incredible. So yeah, if you're thinking you want to get into emergency medicine, that's the uh, that's the kind of stuff you'll be dealing with. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, then they uh, then they inform the family of what happened and why uh, why the funeral's probably gonna have to be closed casket, and they uh, ask if uh, the family would like to adopt the puppies, and uh, uh, understandably uh, they were a little uh, they were a little uh, little hesitant to adopt the puppies, so uh, the puppies got sent to the pound. And of course, like, puppies get snapped up real quick at the pound. Everybody wants to get a puppy at the pound, especially cute golden retriever puppies. So, uh, yeah. I think my, my dad just kind of concluded the story by saying how uh, morbidly hilarious it was that, uh, you know, a few days later those puppies are, uh, are probably in someone else's home being loved and cherished, and uh, those people do not know that the puppies ate an entire half of a human just a few days ago. So. Adopt a shelter animal. Pound puppies, yep. Adopt a shelter animal is the uh, is the moral of the story. It's okay to get a moderate amount of sunlight, just don't get burnt. Yeah, I just really hope the puppies didn't get a didn't get a, a taste for it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, craziest thing ever. Top half's a skeleton, bottom half is uh, totally fresh. All right, quality crops. Yes, they wanted. Oh shit, they wanted five star melons too. Um, all right. I'm gonna get another crop of those. So don't let me forget. Hopefully, we get five star melons. Okay. And I think we have some summer bundle to turn in. Yeah, they want a blueberry, and they want a melon. Okay. So they want a tomato and they want a melon. We're gonna get more of those. That's not a problem. And then I have some winter forage to turn in. See, so yeah, I need to turn in a... Actually, I have a melon still. Get the crystal fruit in there. In some states, they'd just be put down. Yeah, I'm kind of glad the, kind of glad this is not a, one of those states, uh, to be quite honest. Not like they did anything wrong. They, uh, they're carnivores. They eat. They eat, John. It's what they do. Mm. Oh, I should be paying more attention to uh, this stuff as well, because I could turn in a fiddlehead fern. I could turn in a fried egg. Uh, Maki rolls are easy to do. Poppies I'm not going to have until uh, spring, too. But yeah, we could get most of this shit die bundle as well. I have an aquamarine. I'm gonna get a sunflower. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wine, we need oak resin, we need a rabbit foot, we need a pomegranate. Hmm. Okay, so what to be working towards next? I think... Hmm... Probably the play is going to be upgrading the coop. Oh, shit, I don't have an axe to cut down any more wood. Uh, yeah, I think the play is probably going to be to upgrade the coop next. What could I do? What could I do? Can we run another spice berry over to old Linus? He would, uh... Since the point of this stream is to make friends... Hey, gold bars! Make some iron too. Oh, 
And I need to make some refined quartz as well. Don't forget a melon for the bunch. Yeah, that's true. I have a melon lying around. I also have an aquamarine lying around. Yeah, let's go ahead and just run some of this stuff up. We'll sell that. Yeah, we'll, we'll run one of these spice berries to Linus, and then we'll run some stuff for the bundles that I know I need. So yeah, I know I need a fiddlehead fern as well. Uh, what else? I need an aquamarine. I... Could do this, actually. Could and probably should do this. I need one of each bar. I know. Um, what else? What else did I need? There was other stuff I had that I needed. I think at some point they do want a diamond. Let's see. Let's see. Well, the other thing. I haven't checked my... Uh, I haven't checked the bat cave in a few days. You in there, bats? Or is it just Alfred home? Let's find out. At some point, they'll drop a pomegranate. I'd have to get very unlucky for them not to drop a pomegranate at some point. Uh, yeah, a lot of forage. Got an apricot, though. That's nice. Tender little fruit with a rock-hard pit. And peaches. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Alright, yeah. Oh, they wanted a blueberry too, didn't they? Or no, I turned in a blueberry. They wanted a melon and they wanted a, uh, a tomato. Yeah, and I don't have any more tomatoes. But I'll get some before the season ends, so no biggie. And yeah, they want five gold star melons, which I might get. We'll see. We need five out of 16 to be gold stars. So the odds I don't think are in my favor, but if I get lucky, I'll uh, I'll be able to do that. If not, I'll probably just do the uh, five star parsnips in spring two. All right, Linus, where are you at? Probably sitting around his campfire. I don't think he normally goes to bed this early. Oh, you are, um... <laughs> what you doing behind the bushes there, buddy? Here, have a spice berry. So yeah, we'll finish this out with a tomato. That's all I have there. Everything else is, uh, yeah, gonna be for the bulletin board or the uh, forge. Or furnace, not forge. Let's see, yeah, the chef wanted this. I could also make a fried egg anytime I want. Purple mushroom, nautilus shell, chub, and a frozen geode. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Again, frozen geodes, very easy to get. Uh, I think it was the dye bundle wanted. Yeah, an aquamarine. My sunflowers should be sprouting here pretty soon, so we'll need to give one there. A sea urchin, duck feather, red mushrooms. Okay. Just bundle. Oh, I have all of this shit too, except for the fire quartz. Frozen tier, earth crystal, and quartz. Nice! We almost got the minecarts repaired. I can make a fried egg anytime I want, I just don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Another furnace, sure. Ah, uh, now we get the money bundles. 
Now we get the money bundles. So yeah. <laughs> 2,500 gold bundle, 10,000 gold bundle, 5,000 gold bundle, 25,000 gold bundle. Reward bus repair. I'm um, sure. Some three chocolate cake. Not bad. Not bad at all. See, the only thing we're missing is a fire quartz, and we'll be able to finish out the furnace room. And I should start getting fire quartz once I get to level 80 in the mines. So, that's coming right up. I got some shit I need to sell to the Adventurer's Guild. Really wish I could just throw weapons and stuff in the, uh, in the bin. The only time a knife buyback has ever worked. Uh, yeah, have the wood mallet. Lead rod's worth 200, very nice. Do you sell the bone sword? You do sell the bone sword for 6,000 gold. And it is the best thing I can acquire right now. Yeah. Well. Templar's blade is better if you want to go defensive, I guess. I guess. He also sells the master slingshot if you uh, got rid of it. See, I gotta remember the uh, tomatoes. Gotta remember I need to turn in a tomato. And that, yeah. Five of my 16 melons belong to the community. What is this communism? Five of my best melons belong to the community. Gravy is trying to sleep. Gravy is congealing. Yeah, I should probably start stocking the fridge with, like, some low-quality eggs or something. Low-quality eggs, some milk. You know, all the good stuff to cook with. Off to bed with ye. I'll need to start decorating my room, too. Yeah, I mean, the corn sells okay. Hot peppers are, again, alright. Yeah, a little bit of a disappointing return, honestly. We made some profit, I think, but not, not a ton. I mean, if you want to be like a real... I think melons are fantastic profit and blueberries are pretty good profit. Or maybe blueberries aren't good profit, I forget. Melons are usually really good profit, though. Everyone loves melons. Another beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are neutral. Okay. Hey, the flowers are ready. Okay, we, we harvest these right away. Because they're a pain in the ass otherwise. And the tomatoes are ready. Great, we can turn them in. So, the sunflowers, too. You know what? I'm pretty sure Evelyn likes summer spangles. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll give one to her as a gift. Evelyn, a big Oswald Spangler fan. Don't get her talking about the decline of the West. Alright. So yeah, we can... 
I just want one back. Can I? Yeah, we'll do this. All I need is one. And we will. Evelyn, uh, someone likes sunflowers too. Yeah, the multicolored flowers are always a pain in the ass, because, yeah, you get a whole bunch of different kinds. Take up a whole bunch of inventory space. Alright, let's get to watering, though. Yeah, kind of waiting for the next rainy day, because I think I'll be able to push down into a uh, push down into level 80 and start actually getting some gold ore. Um, once I do that, I'll be good to go to start creating some quality sprinklers and uh, not doing this every morning. And by this, I mean like watering the whole damn field. Luck the cows in. That was a moo steak. Uh, excuse me. Did I not? Okay, there we go. Alright, New York Strip, where are you at? Hey, there you are. With sprinklers, you can expand farm space. <laughs> I, I, I get you. I get you. I, I hear you, Space Lord. I'm, uh, I'm working my way towards it. I understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. It's just, uh, yeah. Kind of don't want to go down in the mine unless it's a rainy day. I don't know. I could probably get five levels, especially if it's a, uh, not a bad luck day. Hmm. Why are you saving the cheese with the cows? I'm not. I'm selling most of it. Although it is good for some recipes. I might, uh, yeah, I might actually put away the, uh, Wait, did I not? Yeah, why do I only have one cheese? Is this what you meant? Did I fuck up? No? That is what I did. I put the cheese in instead of the milk bucket. I will put the cheese in my fridge so I can cook with it, but yeah, good call, Yeni. Good call. See, you see what I mean, chat? You see why she would be the perfect secretary? Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. K Carpenter. God, the Carpenters. <laughs> uh, I actually just listened to Top of the World the other day. That's pretty cute. I think that was my favorite thing that, uh... Kiryu Coco ever covered. That was adorable. Uh, she did Top of the World, yeah. Coco was not a great singer, but she had spunk. 
She had a lot of spunk. Right, should I make a fried egg? Alright. I want to make a fried egg, so we're making a fried egg. Happy fried egg! I'll put the cheese in there, too. Cheese. Again, I think Evelyn likes the summer spangle, so we'll probably go uh, give that to her. I need to turn in the sunflower, the fried egg. Uh, the iron bars can go. I don't have an axe, but that's not a big deal. I can do the dungeon without an axe. Put all this way. Probably pick up the chocolate cakes for healing. Okay. So yeah, we will uh, we'll hand a summer spangle to Evelyn. I think she likes summer spangles. I mean, she's an old lady. She's gonna like any sort of flowers you bring her. It's it's it's, it's a home run, right? It's a home run, easy home run. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. Maybe she doesn't love it, but um, yeah, she doesn't hate it, obviously. Okie doke. So yeah, we're going to finish the uh, summer bundle here. Groovy. She's happy to get positive attention. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Hey! And a quality sprinkler. Let's go. Hallelujah. I can actually probably set up a whole row of them now. So that's nice. Uh, you wanted a fried egg. You wanted the sunflower. All right. So yeah, we're going to push for 80 in the mine, I think. I don't think I know. The nice thing here is that... Oh yeah, we... We needed to get stone for uh, Robin anyways, so... Yeah. Some solid damage and it doesn't push the ghost back so far, so... You kill it a lot more efficiently. No obvious escapes. Bones status rattled. There we go. Yeah, you can still do a little bit of a Cabadon method with them too. So that's not bad. Ooh, yeah, we will. We will kill the triples for sure. Monster Compendium. Monsters have a small chance to drop double loot. Gimme. Learned a new power. I'm really, really digging the books that they've added. That is a nice touch. Oh. Oh, and then why am I breaking rocks? We know where the uh, we know where the exit is. Consume an entire chocolate cake. It's so carbohydrate dense. That is how most, uh, 
is how most Americans were introduced to chocolate the first time around. It's like Hershey's chocolate was sort of a regional thing, as I understand it. But, uh, yeah, then in World War II it got included in the uh, rations and uh, people kind of got a little bit of a taste for it. I don't know, is it fair to characterize Hershey's as a regional thing? I would need to do a little bit more research on that. But it really freaking blew up after the war. Same could be said of Berlin, I guess. <laughs> or Hiroshima. <laughs> I guess, no, that was before the war ended. Man, it's grazed that flying bone like it's Toho. How about that? Yeah, again, not as much iron as I would have wanted. I think neutral look today. So, yeah, it's about as much iron as I expected. Not as much as I wanted. Very neutral indeed. Oh, the bundle wanted a frozen tear too, didn't it? Alright, we'll turn that in then. And a frozen geode, okay. Oh, remind me to stop at the community center on the way home. And here we are. Firewalker boots. Fire, walk with me. Three defense, three immunity. Yeah, that is a huge upgrade said that these can withstand the hottest magma. Alright, I'm gonna do one floor and try and get some gold. Just because I am impatient to uh, get some quality sprinklers going. Well, no gold here. Oh, well. Well, there we go. But, since I had an easy time getting down, yeah, there's some gold. Oh, this is this is bad. Qua, get parried, bitch. Actually, if I can locate a fire quartz down here, I'll uh, be able to finish a bundle, I think. Oh boy. Uh, consume the cake. Tactical mukbang. I just want to harvest the gold. Not even harvest it, mine it. Okay. What else you got for me? Got sleep dep deprivation for me is what you got for me. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Why, why must the bats always be annoying in every single game? I am back from hell. Well, welcome back. Glad you made it back from hell. Um, I have no time to go to the community center. I am, I'm just going to make a mad dash home. 
I think the later you stay up, the less energy you regenerate, and if you don't regenerate back to your full energy, you're exhausted the next day. I think that's how it works. Thanks, I killed some giant stupid dinosaurs. Well done. Alright. Oh yeah, Uniper likes it in here where it's uh, nice and dark. Oh, excellent! Ooh, that is tough. That is a tough one. Plus one or purveying is, uh... But you know, once you get to the end game, it's more a question of not having enough coal to smelt all of the uh, all of the uh, metals that you have, and less uh, less lacking ore. I killed some giants. You killed two giant giant, su giant stupid dinosaurs. Very nice, very nicely done, Wolfie. Um, I'd actually go for geologist. I think that was the wrong call, but um. Sometimes you just gotta follow your heart, right? Your steel axe is ready, thank god. Gonna be clear and sunny all day tomorrow, great. Can't wait to water more. Omelette. I already know how to cook omelette. How are you doing? Hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Oh, Emily. That's, that's so so thoughtful of you. Um, yeah, the grapes can go. What else am I going to sell here? Uh, I'm actually keeping most of the shit I picked up. All right. Frozen tier, frozen geode, I know I need to, uh, and then one quartz I need to do. The refined quartz can stay. The red mushroom, I think, is part of a... If you took minor, you could get double coal chance at 10. Oh, I see. Well, maybe that is the way I should have gone. Oh shit, I never replanted this. Uh, well, and we're going to have a bit of a time replanting it today, too. Alright, well. The fertilizer. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. So I guess I'll have to go to Joja and pick up 12 seeds. Now you have to deal with double geode or 30% more valuable gems. Um, you know, the more valuable gems, you can, uh, you can set it up to make that a, a really good play. Double geode can be cool too, but a lot of chance involved there. Oh yeah, I need to pick up my tools. Blacksmith you can buy coal from, yes, but it is extremely cost inefficient. Especially after the first year, it gets even more expensive. But yes, if you need to, if you really, really need to, you can indeed buy buy from the blacksmith. Yeah.
Oh, I forgot to lock the cows in, too. Kind of keep the weeds from intruding here. Yeah, I think Clint wants like... <laughs> it's like something ridiculous, like 200 or 300 gold per coal uh, after the first year. Which, yeah. Just get it yourself. It's, n it's not that hard. So I guess I'll have to go to Joja and buy some seeds. Blech. Could be worse, you know, this could be a realistic agriculture simulator where uh, <laughs> if you if you want to buy seeds from Joja, you can only buy seeds from Joja. Um, and should your seeds perhaps, you know, blow into someone else's yard, you will be sued for leaking uh, corporate secrets. They will be sued for growing them without authorization. Everyone will be sued. I saw... is that Cerberus? I don't know I've... I should have... give him. Uh-huh. Well, I have opinions on Cerberus. None of them good. You should give him an ass-kicking. That's what Cerberus deserves. Ruby. All right. We're off to Joja, I suppose. Actually, did I? I never actually milked the cows today. It's uh, one of those milk your cows in the middle of the field at noon sort of days. We've all had those sorts of days, right? I want to have Cerberus, but him in a fish costume. Uh-huh. That's, uh... It's quite specific. Quite specific. Any reason you want Cerberus in a fish costume? So where did... Where did Sirloin go? Sirloin, come on! You're the white cow. You should be easy to spot. It's New York Strip who blends in to the grass for my colorblind ass. Where are you? Where are you? Did you never leave the barn? Am I being trolled? They don't go that far. Alright, gonna head out so I can get a little rest before I'm probably getting calls later. Alright, well good luck to you with the calls, Yeni. Whatever they might be. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for looking out for me. Am I losing my mind? Does anyone see the, the white cow? The white and black cow? <laughs> I want people to find him cute. Sure, sure. Alright. Um, Alright, guess we'll give up on that for a little bit. Did someone say troll? <laughs> I feel like I'm being trolled by a bovine. Never a never a great feeling. And and and, and it's freaking mooing at me the whole time. Alright. 
Oh, there you are! Holy crap. You kind of went a long ways. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we close the doors behind the animals at night. Alright. So need to pick up some summer seeds. Uh, Lewis is in need of red mullet. Now this, this is something I can do. <laughs> I can give him the red mullet fish. I think his, uh, while he could grow a mullet, it's going to be a pain to make it red at his age. Alright, what do we want to do? Um, take six days to mature? It's 11 days to grow, but keeps producing after that, so yeah, it's a... Uh... Oh, wait! Oh, you can get poppies! Okay, sure. We'll do that. I thought poppies were spring for some reason. Alright, let's see if Sam likes a sweet pea. Hey, 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 you remembered. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, Sam, I totally remembered your birthday. I totally, you know what, I, I thought, you know, my good friend Sam, his birthday's coming up. I need to need to go to great lengths to find him a gift that he will appreciate. Because, you know, I just care about him so much. He, he does so many good things to the town. I really admire him, right? Right? Um, so, yeah, happy birthday, Sam. Uh, oh, right. The Artisan Bundle takes all the fruits. That's good to know. Kill, kill. Oh, you're not, 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 not a Sam fan? Um, animal. Did I? I never have, actually. Alright, we'll turn in a large milk here. Goat milk. Wool and a duck egg. Okay. We can do that. Think, yeah, she wanted the mushroom for the dye bundle. Um, yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll grow a poppy for sure. Um, what else? And I think... Oh, yeah. No, just some people annoy me. <laughs> you know... I agree with you. I, I do agree with you. Some of the Stardew Valley villagers are annoying. I've always found Sam fairly inoffensive. There are there are others who are far worse than Sam. Far, far worse than Sam. Right, yeah, we got frozen tear. Groovy. Go to the Adventurer's Guild and sell off my old boots so they're not taking up inventory space. It's a matter of planting the poppy seeds. Probably put the milk in the fridge for uh, for cooking purposes. Hi, Robin. It was fun working on your house. That might be some of the finest construction I've ever done. Yeah, don't toot your own too much. Hope you're enjoying the new kitchen. Uh, yeah. I could fish. Yeah, I could fish. Uh, oh, I should fish, actually. Yeah, I need to get a red mullet for Lewis. Thank you for the reminder. Um, red mullets are... Have I caught a red mullet? Drawing a blank. Uh, collections. There we go. Fish. Have I caught a red mullet? You do not appear to have caught a red mullet. Can you go fishing? I would like some fish. Yeah, I need to go fishing anyways and uh, get Lewis a red mullet. Uh, can't remember if red mullets are river or lake fish. I don't think... Are they ocean fish? Oh, fuck. This is going to bother me. And this is something I really should know. All right. Hold on a sec. 
Hold on a sec. Need to uh, commune with Minerva. Offering her a sacrifice right now. Uh, please enlighten me. O oh, god of wisdom. Where, uh, where might one find a red mullet in Stardew Valley? They are in the ocean, in the summer and winter, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Thank you, Minerva, for that very detailed answer. Like you were at, you can fish there. We're gonna fish in the ocean. Tomorrow. It'll have to be tomorrow. Never did turn in the stone to, to Robin. Oh well. Yeah, we'll go fishing in the ocean tomorrow and uh, get Lewis a red mullet. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, we'll go fishing tomorrow, Wolfie. I was thinking, like, I, I didn't want to think it was an ocean fish because I was thinking red snapper. Um, but yeah. I think they're called red mullets in this game. There were red snappers in Animal Crossing, like the original, I think. Might be where my mind was. You can go. We'll keep the milk for uh, for cooking purposes. I think I should go to sleep. I just came back, came back from hell. Yeah, yeah. If you need to go to sleep, then go to sleep, man. Thank you for dropping in. Don't sleep deprive yourself. I made that. Uh, I made that mistake this week, and I regretted it the whole time. What do you say? I say go for it. I say get some sleep. Let's see, I could make an omelette or fried eggs if I so chose. Good night. Have a nice week. You too, Wolfie. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> the bookseller's in town. I might actually be able to afford something this time around. Storm is approaching! Let's go! Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Summer is known for its lightning storms. If you know how to craft a lightning rod, you can harvest the electricity and create battery packs. These can be sold or used for crafting. Yes, very, very good advice, but uh, unfortunately probably not something I'm going to be able to do this time around. Oh, and because Yeenie asked for it, even though I know she already went to bed, um, we'll make some hot pepper jam for her. Actually, now might be the time to upgrade my copper watering can. I think, yes, I have the cash for it. I think also I need to start. Yeah, I need to look into expanding the coop, I think, is what I should do first. Get some ducks. Because the ducks are fantastic value. Duck mayonnaise. Yum yum. 
Apparently that's a real thing. Like, that's a real luxury item. I was not aware of it before Stardew Valley. I mean, it makes sense, like, you can make mayonnaise out of any sort of egg. Doesn't have to be chicken. But yeah, I never really thought about it. Never really realized that duck mayonnaise actually considered a, uh, a luxury item. I don't think I'm going to bother with doing another round of the forage crops. We'll give some nice ones to Linus, but uh, yeah, that'll be it. looking very zen. As cats do. As cats do. Cat Nirvana. I got four gold star grapes. I'll uh I'll give one to Linus. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold on to the blueberries, use them to make jam when I have nothing else. be a dream. Oh, shit. Hmm. Speaking of zen, I, I really enjoy how much of a, a zen game this is. It's easy to lose yourself. I find myself, like, struggling to commentate sometimes, because <laughs> it's just like, ah, uh, just shut the brain off. Just enjoy watering the crops, you know? Enjoy the bird song. Enjoy, enjoy the rural setting. It's, it's hard sometimes. Alright, I think I will uh, go ahead and make a, uh, make my iron watering can. And then, yeah, tomorrow we'll go down into the mines, uh, hopefully get some gold, hopefully get some actual gold, and with that, we will uh, hopefully have what we need to finally produce some decent sprinklers. And yeah, make the, uh, make the iron watering can obsolete. need to fish for a red mullet for Lewis. Alright, we'll do that once we drop the can off. Come back when someone's working. <laughs> There's a fantastic exploit you can do there. I think the game dev found it so funny that, uh, Concerned Ape. Found it so funny that you left it in, but uh, an exploit for sure. Alright. Yeah, give me a steel watering can. If 
Hey, you must be getting pretty strong working out on that farm all day. Yeah. Maybe I'll reach my level someday. Something to look forward to, huh? Getting crop fit. It's the new exercise craze. It's sweeping the nation. Get crop fit. Oh, you know what? I think Haley might like rainbow shells a lot. Let's see. You gonna hate this gift too? <gasps> For me? Thank you. Okay, yep. Haley loves the rainbow shells. Also, Willy. One-eyed Willy. Oh. Ahoy! Come in. Make yourself at home. <laughs> what uh, what are we doing? Aye, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just uh, make sure to wash your hands good after di dipping them in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks, lad. Mmm. Inky fish hands. So, you've been catching a lot of fish? Eh, you know. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing alright. Aha! Man after me own heart. You can always trust a fisherman. That's what me old pappy used to say, at least. Haha. <laughs> well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Everything okay? I well, business has been tough lately. It all started about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. Me fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. No time for me own projects. But if things pick back up around here, I might have the time to show you something. Heh <laughs> yep. She's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, uh, you keeping someone chained up back there, Willie? Someday, lad, you'll see what I mean. Fiberglass rod. Oh, eh, that's actually not a... That's not terribly expensive. All right. Red mullet bait. Increases your chance to catch red mullet. It's like they knew. It's like they knew. Causes fish to bite even faster and increases the size of the fishing bar. That is very deluxe bait indeed. Alright, sure. Give me give me ten red mullet bait. There we go. There it is, a red mullet. We'll fish until about five. Woo! Sorry, sometimes when I wipe my nose, the uh, camera freaks out. And just raking them in. Fishing is another thing in Stardew Valley I have trouble commentating over sometime. Again, the more serene it is, the more I the more I feel bad interrupting it with my own commentary. So I guess by increase the chance you'll catch red mullet, it means you will catch nothing but red mullet. Let's see. Let's see if I get even one non-red mullet from uh, from this bait. Oh yeah, you're not a red mullet. You are not a red mullet. You just kicked my ass. I might have been an octopus, actually. So we did get one non-red mullet, but I don't know what it was, because it kicked my ass. Mm -hmm. 
Something good in the treasure chest, please. Two geodes. I really should start cracking open the geodes. Be a cool geo dude. Long ago, these were kept as pets. Interesting. Used your last piece of bait. How fortunate that I have more bait. All right. Busy day at the beach today. I'm hungry. Where's mom? Dad was telling me about our national enemy, the Gatoro Empire. They sound like a ruthless bunch. <laughs> our national enemy. Uh, I love the, uh, I love the, uh, stuff going on in the background in Stardew Valley. Yes. So, implication is they are at war, uh, with the Gatoro Empire. Um, who kind of seem to be a knockoff of Imperial Japan. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy stuff. All right. Good evening, Lewis. Here's some fish. Hey, you brought me the item I asked for. Thanks so much. Here's your payment as promised. Oh, I for almost forgot about the bookseller. Oh dear, my shoes are filled with sand. Uh huh. I won't say what your head is filled with, Elliot. Alright, what you got for me? Trade in books. I'll trade useful stuff for your extra books. Interesting! Two monster compendium gives you a slime incubator, some fairy dust, sprinkle on kegs, furnaces, and other refining equipment to instantly receive their product. That's cool. Pepper poppers? Dude, alright. So even if you've already, uh, even if you already have the book in question, it's monster musk. Spray this on to draw more monsters out of hiding. Even if you already have the books, it's worth worth turning them in. How about that? Alright, what you got for me? Got my monthly, got Baden Bobber. Way of the Wind Part 1, you run a little bit faster. <laughs> Horse the books. Um, is it worth, worth it to do the price catalog? I have a pretty good idea of what the prices are. I don't think it's worth it. And I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get the XP anyways. So yeah, you need like twenty five thousand, fifteen to twenty five thousand to get a book that's actually worthwhile. I mean, it could be useful for speed running though. Like get some extra get some extra experience to get what you need. Um, I don't know. Interesting. All right, I was gonna give a uh, gonna give some more gifts to Linus. Hello, Abigail. If I knew how to use a sword, I would be exploring those caves by the mountain lake right now. It's probably nice and cool in there. Yeah, you're, you're probably not wrong. Abigail, do you like sweet peas? No, don't eat sweet peas. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? That looks delicious. Okay. Okay, Abigail. You know, it's a, it's, 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 it's a flower. It's not a fruit. She doesn't care. It's 
called a sweet pea, but it uh, cannot actually be eaten. Have some grapes, buddy. This is a grape gift. Thank you. <laughs> Very few people have gone as deep into the mines as you have. Do you know what's down there, Linus? Wouldn't surprise me if Linus knows what's down there. Wouldn't surprise me if Linus has, like, some uh, Psychonauts shit going. Secret laboratory deep underground. Got all the chickens in. I think, yeah, geodes go there. We'll sell all the fish. Well, if I had some, uh, if I had some seaweed, I could make a maki roll. Need that for the community center. Actually, I think I want to expand my preserve production. Uh, what all's involved with that? Preserve star, preserve star. Oh yeah, the keg needs oak resin, which uh, I need to make a tapper first. Wooden copper bars. I should probably, I should probably get going on that. Just need wood stone coal for preserve jars. I think I can make a couple. I would put things in these, but it's going to mess me up if uh, these are working and these are not, and they're not all lined up. Just the way things go. I'm driving, so you get to deal with my, uh, you get to deal with my OCD tendencies. New York Strip is trying to sleep. Always good to let your stakes rest. Always good to let your stakes rest. Don't just cut right into them. They, they need to, need to finish cooking and sear in the juices, you know? Seal in the juices, not sear them in. You should sear them too, though. Okay. Let's put that stuff away. I don't really need the uh, axe either. So yeah, we're going to hit the mines tomorrow. Dang, pretty good haul today. So I'm going to hit the mines, and then I think tomorrow I'm going to at least visit Robin and figure out what I need for a coop, and that'll probably be the stream goal next time. Are we clear and sunny all day? Sure. Spirits are very happy today. Let's go. I wanna, I wanna get into the fridge if I can. Uh, sure, I'll just take my three things of cheese. Inky, how you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Linus teaches you how to sushi. Oh, that was, that was danger close. Oh, just took a tree down. <laughs> uh, lightning rods are important. If you have lightning rods, then the lightning will hit uh, them instead of the trees or your crops. Better not have toasted one of my fruit trees. Did you just... Okay, no. No, we're good. We're good.
Yeah, while well, it's going, well. Oh. Actually, pretty much all caught up on the stuff I need to smelt. I could make more copper. I should make more copper. Alright, off to the mines. Yeah, if we've got good luck, I'm thinking we can probably get 10 levels today, which would be fantastic. Hopefully we'll get a bunch of gold to work with and I can finally create some sprinklers. I guess I should start refining the quartz too. I need it for the sprinklers. Refined quartz doesn't take too long to make though. I think. Ugh, excuse me. Got the hiccups. Alright, down we go. I thought that was all gold for a second. It's all copper. What a troll. Sure, throwing the summer squash seeds at you. Was actually terrible rolls on the quantity of that copper. Down we go. Ooh, a diamond. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> you really, you really, really feel the luck. Limes dropping coal. Ooh, emerald. Two emeralds! Hey, we got the proc. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here's the mother load. a sapphire. Nope, amethysts. Geode. Cool. Um, I will kill this thing because I think it drops void essences. And I would like some void essences. Nope. But you know, dropping coal is uh, very welcome as well. Oh, you. You absolute bastard. Alright. You actually weren't as bad as I remember you being. Just a lot of damage resist on him. Kind of hard to knock him back. The, the Cabadon method is not effective. There's a Void Essence. Perhaps he should have avoided me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay. Yeah, that maroonish one is uh, one of the tougher ones, if I recall. Oof. Uh, did I find... Yeah, I did find the way down. Hmm. 
Still no fire quartz, though, which is a bit of a bummer. Alright, yeah, just hammer him. There we go. Cool. The witch doctor looking ones are healers, so they die first. Yeah, 120 level total. 120 levels total in the mine, if you are not familiar. So we're, uh, we're making some good progress. Alright, nothing more down here, right? Yeah. The only thing I dislike about the sword is that the parry's kind of lame. I mean, it's okay. Usually in situations where you need it, you're kind of panicking and you don't really think to parry. And honestly, it's probably better to just keep swinging and put out as much damage as you can. But yeah. Yeah, the specials for the hammer and the uh, dagger are way better than the sword, but... Sword makes up for it by... Oh, nice! We get to warp home. Yeah, sword makes up for it by being the good speed, good damage, kind of the middle of the road, you know? The generalist weapon. For discerning killers. Alright, we're just gonna check down here if there's anything cool. And move on to the next level. gold am I sitting at now? 47, let's go. So that, thank god, will be enough to put down sprinklers in the entire field. I will uh, not have to, uh, I will have to water it once at the start of the season and then never again. For the whole season. So yeah, it kind of makes me feel silly for uh, getting the uh, <laughs> for getting the the watering can upgrade, but you know, you do have to do the watering at the start of the season, and the faster you can make that for you, the far the better. It's when you go crazy and start planting a shit ton of stuff. Um, what don't I care about? I have enough fiber. Um, I don't really... Well, the sap is actually useful. Nope, I specifically got rid of you for, for that reason. Alright, um... Let's at least... Uh, you know what, we'll eat both of the grapes. Purple mushroom, which is good, that's something we need for the uh, community center. Yeah, we don't care about bone shards right now. Guess all of those would be silver star mushrooms. Yeah. Yep. More inventory space looking real attractive right now. Alright, you know what? We'll ditch the sap and the slime. <laughs> um. 
don't I want? Oh, yeah, somehow we got more. Got more fiber in our diets, so we don't need it. Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna. The mushrooms are nice. They really are. All right, let's get to 90. Had a feeling I was gonna blaze through 10 today, especially with the uh, luck being as it is. And unless something goes just hilariously wrong, I think we're gonna get there. I really shouldn't have said anything, but we're gonna get there. There we are. Oh, hey, you can get a present. The Obsidian Edge, 30 to 45 damage, minus one speed, 10 crit power. We'll just, uh, switch it out. Yeah, that's insane damage. I I thought you got the Obsidian Edge a little later. Oh, you know what? We'll use this. Okay, um... I just need one purple mushroom. I think one red mushroom for the bundle. No, I turned in. Actually, I think I can check. I thought there was a way to check what you've uh, turned in, like bundle-wise. Maybe not. Alright, well, we'll hold on to one of those mushrooms. I think... Can I use the mushrooms to create a healing potion? At high level combat you can, but uh, I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, I need a morel and a chanterelle as well. Okay. So, never mind. The void essence in there. Emeralds can go in there, amethyst, stone, quartz. Actually gonna start cooking our gold here. Yep, copper ore can go in, all of this I'm gonna sell. We have another diamond. Uh, magma geodes were going in the other box. Yeah, got all our geodes in there. I might take those to Clint tomorrow. In fact, I will take those to Clint tomorrow. Let's pull all of the geodes out. So I have 13 iron bars, I have plenty of quartz. Um, if I really wanted to, I could make a, uh, I could do coal burning. Like I could uh, make some coal. Yeah, I think I have that recipe, don't I? Let's see. Furnace, worm bin, recycling machine, da 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 da. It's like one of those, charcoal kiln, there we go, yeah. 20 wood, two copper bar, turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. There are like a couple. There are a couple recipes that rely on purple mushrooms. We'll keep those in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then probably grab one of each gemstone that I want to take to the uh, to the museum as well. Oh, almost forgot my omni geodes too. This, 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 this. Get them all nice and in a line. Um, yeah, we'll donate one. Donate one there. What else? What else? What else? Aquamarine, a jade. Topaz is not used for anything, really. I don't think. Donate a quartz. Donate 
made an emerald. Okay, yeah. So we'll run all of that down to the uh, museum as well. We'll do a museum run, we'll check in with Robin, and... Ooh, is Robin going to be open tomorrow? I guess we'll see. Only one way to find out. Mm. Yeah, it's a great haul on the mushrooms. You steal watering cans ready. Nice. Alright. In that case, the annual Trout Derby has begun. Oh, shit. That's a new one. Alright. Let's start refining quartz here. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Down goes the fences, I guess. Desire to know, know more about the Trout Derby intensifies. Inky, gathering data on the correlation between soil alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. I can do that for you, Demetrius. Okay, I need to go pick up my watering can. I finished the summer bundle, right? Hold on to one tomato just in case I didn't, but uh, pretty sure I finished the summer bundle. Yeah, let's put that in the right chest. Okay. Alright, well, can't water any crops just yet, so. We'll tend to the animals, go pick up the watering can. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully the town's not closed down. Where did it say the Trout Derby was? Was it in the forest? Guess we'll find out. It's not the end of the world if stuff goes without water for a day, but it does suck. Do anything for you? Yeah. I need super cucumber if it's not too inconvenient. I actually uh, can acquire some super cucumber for you. I will uh, give you my super cucumber, Emily. Oh shit, I wanted to. Okay. Gonna miss the trout derby. I wanted to get started on uh, on the iron pickaxe. But to do that, I would need some iron. Funny how that works.
Okay. Okay, now we are finally ready to move. Uh, I guess I could just... Hmm. I'm a little concerned about missing out on the Trout Derby, so I think maybe I'll pick up the watering can, get the uh, pickaxe going, and then maybe water all the crops at night. It is not optimal, but um, I think I'll be able to pull it off, no problem. Big question is if Clint is working. He is! Let's go! Please, I would like... Oops, no, that's not what I would like. I would like a steel pickaxe, please. Wonderful. And, oh, uh, you know what? Need to donate all this shit to the museum, and then I will uh, start cracking some geodes open. All right, um, we do have a uh, yeah, we do have like a mineral collection. Yeah, put the diamond there, quartz. Okay. What kind of rewards you got for me? Got some melon seeds, you got some cauliflower seeds, and you got a standing geode. I like that one. The melon and the cauliflower is kind of useless to me at the moment. Alright. Show me what you got. Earth crystal, fine. Hey, iridium ore! Alright. Alamite, got some coal. Got barite, buried. Okay. Hmm. Mysterious looking. Fire opal. A dwarf gadget. Lemon stone. Don't have enough room in your inventory, sure. All right, um, yeah, this is like, you know what? We could do like a dwarf exhibit here. I like it. And yeah, just keep throwing minerals at it. Starfruit seeds, exactly one starfruit seed, a night on Eco Hill. Thanks, I guess. Coal. Never gonna complain there. Iron ore. That's worth complaining over. Star shards. Ooh, pretty. Ghost crystal. Even the chime sounded disappointed in that one. Alright. Aronite. Cool. Kind of annoying that I have to do it this way, but... Hooray limited bag space. I mean, I think trout is normally caught in the mountains. Okay, I already got that one, I think. Ooh. Lunarite. A Jamborite. A Necoite. The delicate shards form a tiny pink meadow. Fine-grained rock. Okay. Like 
we're all full up on shit, so we will donate what we've got and uh, crack the other geodes open some other day, because I want to get to Troutfest. Groovy. Alright, um... So it's either going to be in the forest or the mountain. I can get to the mountain more easily. I'm pretty sure the mountain is where you can catch trout, so it would make more sense. Doesn't seem like it. This must be in the forest. Usually these festivals go until 2, so I should have time if I hurry. What a pain. What a pain, what a pain. Uh, excuse me? Oh, here we are. The sun is angry today. My skin is a bit too delicate, I'm afraid. Oh, hello, who are you? Fishing sisters. We're the famous fishing sisters. We'll fish as many fish as we wish. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. The annual trout derby. Oh, here we are. Welcome to the trout derby. What can I do for you? Explanation. During the event, rainbow trout have one chance of carrying have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find one, turn it in here for a prize. I see. Okay. trout but it did not have a tag okay i'm gonna need to drop off my shit at home i think <laughs> drop off my shit and come back to this hopefully it uh hopefully it goes for a little while so let the cows out too Stone, coal, clay, yeah, all of this shit. Um, yeah, you go in there. Probably gonna sell the uh, other stuff we don't want. Yeah, that, that's, this can all go. This can all go. Okay, that's a little better. Alright, we'll f go until the trout derby ends and then, uh, uh, at least pour Yenna per some water. <laughs> okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Let's, let's, let's try and at least get a tag, you know? So the question is, are we going to get nothing but rainbow trout, or is it going to kind of be good luck? Well, there's another rainbow trout. And it had a tag. Wonderful. Turn this into the Trout Derby booth for a reward. Mm -hmm. Uh. wonder how many to get the max reward. Maybe we'll find out. Oh, pike. So yeah, you don't you don't only get uh, rainbow trout. Good to know.
No tag. I'm paranoid about this ending and not having uh, any sort of chance to turn stuff in. Wouldn't surprise me if this goes all day, though. So we'll probably go until like uh, 8 p.m. and then turn in what tags we got and go water the crops. Think is the way I want to approach it. Got some new ideas to sleep on. There's a tag. Very nice. Gotcha. Chub, but we actually do need a chub for the bundle, so not too mad about getting that one. Oh, you're you're probably a pike. You look like a pike. Yeah, you're not a you're not a rainbow trout, that's for sure. Yep. Certainly not the most annoying piker on the internet, that's for very sure. Sunfish? Huh. So I wonder if I was just having really good luck getting the rainbow trout. Or maybe the trout... It wouldn't surprise me if the trout stopped spawning after like 6pm. If the next two are not rainbow trout, we'll conclude that uh, they're not spawning anymore. Another sunfish... Yep, you are a pike. You are not a rainbow trout. That's for sure. Ah, almost perfect. Almost got it perfect. Alright, yeah, I conclude that they're not spawning anymore. Get rewards! A tent kit. Neat. Use this to, to deploy a one-time use tent for sleeping. Can only be used outdoors. Fascinating. So if you can't get home, you can save yourself. Three farm warp totems, very nice. And three omni geode. All right, very worthwhile, I would say, very worthwhile. Yeah, I assume they're not they're not spawning anymore, so we can be done. in here, nice. Alright. Um, how does this work? Okay, yeah, it just does a line of six now, so that's pretty cool. Or five, I guess. Yeah, that's that's five, not six. I water my whole field on one can? That's really awesome if so. If it's 15 across, I could just do this, huh? Yeah, okay. I miscounted. Oh, 
Oh, I came so close. I came so close to watering the whole field. I need to remake the fence around the chickens as well. So wooden fences last about half a year, apparently. That's how that works. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, those are both nice to have. I think we're selling all of this shit. Yep. And some hot pepper jelly for Yeeny. Oops, no, I need the chub for a bundle. Alright. Let me put my, uh, Let's put, put our cool-ass geode down in the bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Mm oh. I guess I should do something new in the preserve star. Um, could... Yeah, let's just do blueberries in the preserve star. Eventually, I'll probably build a shed. And just have like the preserves jar and the kegs going bait maker. Got a spinner, trap bobber, and a sonar bobber. Sweet. I think the sonar bobber tells you what kind of fish you're picking up uh, before you actually catch it. So I don't know, maybe you can just let it get away if you're really uninterested. Doesn't seem terribly useful. So this will probably be the last day we stream today. I I don't know if Robin is working, but if she is, we'll figure out uh figure out what we need to do to get the upgraded coop. Some ideas to sleep on, groovy. And I think how much refined quartz we got. We can finally, finally make some, uh... Finally make some sprinklers. That's what I was looking for, sprinklers. Five, yeah. This should work. Like, I know I should be getting sprinklers, but in the short term, man, this watering can feels good. And yeah, what I'm thinking is, uh, in fall, I'll probably switch my uh, fields over to having a sprinkler set up. Like, there's... Stuff's already planted, I would be losing out if I destroyed crops to place sprinklers, so... That's kind of my instinct is, uh, yeah, just... Set up stuff and fall. I'm gonna run into the challenge of, uh, like, the corn. Corn will persist into fall, as will the sunflowers if I keep them alive. Uh, but the sunflowers are no problem, because they're gonna be on the edge anyways, I think. And you know what, if I have to take down a few stalks of corn, I'll take down a few stalks of corn, but... I'd like to avoid if possible. Yeah, I come just short of being able to water the whole field. A little frustrating.
Okay, I'll let the cows out. We'll go do the chickens, and we'll go finish watering, and uh, be good to go. Oh, that must be the tree that got taken got taken down by the uh, lightning strike. Man, this this fence is just falling apart. When it goes, it goes. So are you like will you give me moss if I cut you down? You were one of the you were one of the weird green apocalypse trees. I guess not. Yeah, that, that watering can really did make a difference. Oh, right, we need to get a super cum cucumber to Emily. <laughs> she wants us to, uh, you know, sneak in the back door, slip her our super cucumber. Okay, why are why is this tree finished growing? Did I put these in on different days? I might have. Yeah, we'll probably have the orchard kind of set up here. I'll do a... Yeah. Oh, I haven't actually tried out my axe. Let's see how quickly I can take down a tree here. Not bad at all. Feels like far less of a chore. Okay. Please fall to the left, thank you. So let me grab the super cucumber out of storage. We'll uh, stop by Robin's and then go to Emily's. Da -da -da -da. I need to drop the chub off at the uh, community center anyways. Nice. don't think Robin will be in, but we'll give it a shot. I just, just want to know what I need to upgrade the coop. Hey, alright. Working hard, Robin. Okay, so yeah, improved coop, please. Big coop. 400 wood, 150 stone, 10,000 gold. Okay. So yeah, I just need to gather up some wood. I think I have that much stone lying around still. Yeah, it shouldn't be tough at all. And then once I have the big coop, I can get ducks. Oh, uh, you know, I had other stuff in my... Uh, had other stuff in my chest I was going to bring up here, but oh well. I believe the super cucumber is the field research. Or no, no. The chub was field research. Yeah, there we go. And 
and Emily wanted the super cucumber, right? Yeah. Crop research, bring Demetrius a melon. Oh yeah. Oh, the trout derby's still going. Oh shit, okay. I guess that's what I'll do with the rest of my day, then. Alright, there you go, Ems. We'll talk to you, too. Have you ever tried cooking without a recipe? It's kind of liberating. Nah, the cake always ends up crazy. Who knows, you might discover something amazing. So yeah, I think we concluded that the uh, rainbow trout stopped spawning around... How you going? How you doing, Willie? How's the derby treating you so far? I found plenty of golden tags myself, but it's not over yet. Let's well, talk to these people. Of course, some guy shows up wearing the same outfit as me. How embarrassing! <laughs> and he's standing right next to you. No, it's not a competition, but still, whoever gets the most tags will have bragging rights for the rest of the year. I think I'm a little overdressed for this event. Come all the way from Grampleton for this. Wow. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. I uh, know this is the light life. Nothing is more tranquil than a day of trout fishing. And you look, most of the bites I'm getting are from the mosquitoes. That sounds like how I usually do with fishing. Trout man, where I come, they call me Trout man. Come from, rather. You might discover something amazing, like, well, yeah, you can't cook. Yep, that's usually what I discover. <laughs> uh, they always make it look so easy on the cooking shows, you know? Always make it look so easy. Oh. Well, you're probably not a rainbow trout. Oh, juked. Come on. Was this a pike? A dorado! Okay. Fierce carnivore with brilliant orange scales. Nice. Sure aren't giving me much in the way of rainbow trout this time around, are they? <laughs> Two rubies? Okay, we'll take that. You're starting to feel exhausted. Fierce Carnivore, he's on the plate now, yep. How the turns have tabled. Alright. Well, I got a, exactly one rainbow trout before I, uh, you know, became... Well, I mean, I could always just consume the fish live like Gollum. Yeah. There we go. My precious. Oh, there's a rainbow trout. Didn't give me a tag, though. And I think they stopped spawning at 6. I think that was the uh, conclusion we came to last time, right? Ah. Yeah, this is another Dorado, isn't it? I'm not going to catch it. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm here. Might as well keep fishing. 
Let's get uncomfortably close to this guy. Oh. So they do spawn after 6 p.m. I just got unlucky. That's not surprising at all. <laughs> so yeah, next time, uh, stream goals are probably going to be... We will uh, get a bigger coop, get some ducks... And also prepare for autumn, and top of the list preparing for autumn is going to be setting up a, a sprinkler field. So I don't have to bother with the, uh... I'm getting shit luck with the golden tags. Uh, so yeah, I don't have to bother with watering anymore. The misinformation an amazing thing, yeah. Sometimes we do it to ourselves. Most of the time we do it to ourselves, really. Alright. Damn, I didn't get a single tag. I got one, two, three, four, five rainbow trout, not a single tag. Broccoli seeds. Plant in the fall, hey. Alright. Let's do this. Ready? Ready for brilliance? Quality sprinklers, baby! Got 11 of them. We'll make some more, we'll make some more. Gonna have to actually go back to earlier levels of the mine and get more iron for them, but we'll make some more. And actually the price of raw materials at Clint's is decent the first year, so it might just be worth. Uh, actually no. Might just be worth buying some uh, iron ore from Clint. Especially because we got a decent amount of money. Alright, any last things? I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, I will be back again on Tuesday. Going to be taking uh, tomorrow off from streaming at least, but I am going to be trying to get out a uh, schedule and getting out a history short. Yeah, because I haven't done one of those in a little while. I checked the TV. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are very happy today. I didn't feel lucky. Maki roll. Ah, that's a good one to have. We need that for the uh, community center. All right. So with that, we will. Uh, Hey, there's the seed maker, and there's iridium sprinkler. It's wonderful. Quality fertilizer is not a great deal to make. Um, if you want it in large amounts, you have to catch a fish for each quality fertilizer. I think it's like fish sap and something else. It's a pain. Okay, so yeah, we're going to leave it off there. Uh, thank you all again for coming out so much. I will be back again on Tuesday. But yeah, like I said, going to be working on getting a schedule and a history short out tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully you can uh, check that out as well. Um, stream goals for next time. I'm just saying this more for my own benefit. But because uh, the more I say it, the more likely I will be to remember it. I should like write things down and be organized. But no, that is not the way of the horse. 
Um, yeah, so we're gonna get a big coop and we're going to uh, get into fall and lay down all of those sprinklers and make our lives so much easier. All right, so that'll be next time. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out. That's gonna do it for me. So until next time, Amiki, I bid you walete. Hey, I remembered, I remembered. I'm grammatically correct this time. Um, yeah, take good care of yourselves. Have a good start to your week. I'll catch y'all on Tuesday. Later.